Cooper. Another mystery buried deep in the hills of eastern Washington keeps resurfacing. A bottomless pit said to be a pathway to the paranormal. In the heart of 1997, a small plot in Ellensburg, Washington, became the center of an extraordinary enigma thanks to Mel Waters and his seemingly bottomless hole. Tales of bizarre occurrences and mystical events surrounding the hole, from animals mysteriously returning to life to inexplicable energies, captured the imagination of many. What could possibly lie within the shadowy depths of Mel's hole waiting to be discovered? Join us as we delve into the enigma of Mel's hole, where the ordinary meets the unthinkable, the hole that goes on forever. In 1997, a mysterious story about Mel's Hole grabbed the attention of listeners on the late-night radio show Coast to Coast AM, hosted by Art Bell. A man called Mel Waters shared a fascinating tale about a very deep hole on his land in Kittitas County, Washington, close to Manistash Ridge. He said this hole was so deep that when he dropped 880,000 feet of fishing line down it, the line never hit the bottom and there was no sound of it landing. Each time Mel called the radio show, he added more to the story, including tales of a dead dog coming back to life, metal changing its properties, and strange radio signals near the hole. The legend fascinated people, leading groups of curious explorers and ghost hunters to try and find Mel's hole. However, no one ever found any real proof it existed. Experts like those from the Washington State Department of Natural Resources have said a hole as deep as Mel described couldn't exist due to the Earth's conditions. Even without any proof, the legend of Mel's hole has lived on, becoming part of the lorry of the Pacific Northwest, alongside stories of Bigfoot and UFOs. Mel Waiters, or whatever his real name might be, has disappeared with no records to prove he or his property near Ellensburg, Washington, ever existed. Mel's story got even stranger when he talked about how local animals were scared of the hole. This detail made his tale seem a bit more believable, or at least more interesting, while also keeping people from looking too closely. Neighbours, pulled into the growing legend, supposedly used the hole to get rid of garbage and dead pets. In a bizarre twist, these pets were later seen alive, adding to the hole's mysterious allure. By the time Mel shared his story on Art Bell's Coast to Coast AM, a show known for its love of the bizarre, the hole had become a legend. Listeners were ready to believe anything about it, from theories of it being a gateway to another dimension, a relic from ancient civilizations, or the result of secret government tests. Mel Waters' interviews turned Mel's hole from a curious story into a national fascination. From his first call in 1997 to his last in 2002, Mel's hole went from being a deep, unmeasurable hole to a tale of government conspiracies, supernatural events and alien encounters. Coast to Coast AM was the perfect place for such a story, with its audience-loving tales of the unknown and the supernatural. The show helped turn Mel's Hole into a modern myth, constantly growing in the public's imagination. Critics have pointed out the lack of evidence and the unlikelihood of Mel's claims. Despite many people looking for Mel's Hole and wanting to prove its existence, no real evidence has been found. Experts say a hole as deep as Mel described is impossible, adding doubt to the already unbelievable story. Follow Mel as he shares more about the deep hole, inviting us into a world full of secrets and theories. The real horror story of Mel's Hole. In his first intriguing conversation on the radio, Mel Waters told the story of how he stumbled upon a mysterious deep hole after moving to a new place. He tried to figure out how deep it was by tying a roll of Lifesavers candy to a 1,500-foot-long fishing line, expecting to hear a splash or at least a sound when it hit the bottom. But there was silence. His surprise turned into disbelief as he described adding more and more line, eventually using 80,000 feet, which is over 15 miles, 
of line and still not finding the bottom of this seemingly endless pit. Mel described the hole with lots of excitement, suggesting it was a magical place that absorbed sounds, made animals stay far away from it as if they were scared or found it funny, and seemed to swallow everything thrown into it, including trash and dead animals, leaving no sign behind. Listeners of Art Bell's radio show Coast to Coast AM were instantly captivated. They let their imaginations run wild, coming up with all kinds of ideas about the whole, from scientific guesses to wild supernatural theories. Some thought of the whole as a door to other worlds or secret places, while others were more skeptical, wondering about the truth of Mel's incredible story and questioning how a fishing line could stretch so far down without finding the bottom. But the detailed and passionate way Mel talked about his experiences made people really think and dream about the mysteries of our world. When Mel Waters appeared on Coast to Coast AM, the strange story of what was now known as Mel's Hole became even more fascinating. Mel's story, filled with odd and unexplained events, captured the interest of many people. This turned a local oddity into a widely known story full of mystery and exciting theories about paranormal activity and science that's hard to believe. Mel shared even more unusual things about the hole, like warmth coming out of it and a strange black beam of light shooting up into the sky. He also mentioned how his dogs were too scared to get close to the hole. These parts of his story led to many different theories, with people suggesting the hole might be connected to UFOs, secret entrances to the underworld known in ancient stories, or other unexplainable things. He even talked about hearing old radio broadcasts and seeing changes in metal objects that got close to the hole making the story even more complex and mysterious. The tale took a darker turn when Mel claimed that after he talked about the hole publicly, he faced serious problems. He said the government forced him to move and even erased his property from maps, hinting at a big secret they didn't want people to find out about. The tale of Mel's hole gains an additional layer of intrigue through Gerald Osborne, also known by his shaman name, Red Elk. His insights tie the physical aspects of Mel's hole to spiritual and otherworldly dimensions, presenting a challenge to how we perceive the boundaries of our reality. Red Elk, who is deeply versed in the traditions of various Native American tribes, suggests that Mel's hole is not just a natural curiosity, but serves a higher purpose as a spiritual portal, linking our realm to others overseen by otherworldly guardians. He references ancient prophecies and tribal stories that treat such phenomena with a mix of awe and caution, indicating their importance goes beyond the physical world. He shares stories about vast networks of underground tunnels that connect similar mysterious pits across the planet, implying they were used by ancient beings and perhaps even sophisticated civilizations from our distant past. Red Elk goes further to claim that the hole is guarded by spiritual entities that allow or deny entry based on the intentions of the visitor. This adds a layer of mysticism to the discussions about Mel's Hole, suggesting it's part of a broader, repeating cycle of paranormal events. Despite the captivating stories and years of curiosity, and attempts to uncover the truth, many experts and doubters have pointed out logical issues with Mel's claims. Experts in studying the Earth, like Jack Powell from the Washington State Department of Natural Resources, have said that a hole like the one Mel talked about can't really exist due to how the Earth is structured. This hints that Mel's whole story might be more made up than true. Dive into a deeper mystery with Mel, where reality gets even stranger the deep dark water of Mel's Hole. In a time when we often doubt anything out of the ordinary, the story of Mel's Hole brings a fascinating twist that makes us wonder again. This story isn't about the kind of holes you might be thinking of, like the ones in stories or ideas, but real, physical holes in the ground. These aren't just any holes, though. They're described as portals 
to unknown places that most of us can't even begin to understand. The adventure got even more interesting in Nevada, picking up where the captivating mystery that started in Washington State left off. By chance, or maybe because the world likes a good joke, Mel Waters' story about his mysterious hole caught the attention of some Native Americans in Nevada. They were intrigued by Mel's tales of strange holes and invited him over, hoping to learn more. In September 2001, Mel accepted their invitation, driven by a strong desire to know more and maybe a little bit of pride. When he arrived in Nevada, he discovered another hole with qualities just as mysterious as the first one he found. Mel Waters, who had shared his story on the Coast to Coast AM radio show with Art Bell, saw his simple tale grow into a much bigger story. It now included secret government actions, weird happenings, and old stories. As Mel explored the mystery of his hole, he met Native Americans who told him of legends that connected the natural world with the supernatural. These stories suggested that such oddities were known and had been part of their traditions for a long time, indicating there might be more of these strange holes. The new hole Mel found in Nevada was similar to his first one, adding more intrigue to the tale. This hole also had a metal ring around it, felt warm, and seemed to suck in sound, making everyone wonder even more about where it came from and why it was there. These features, along with stories of life changing near the hole and the possibility of it being a gateway to other dimensions, made Mel's hole more than just a weird spot in the ground. It became a key topic for discussions about the line between our world and mysterious other places. Mel also talked about the government getting involved, like soldiers keeping people away from his land and his property disappearing from maps, making the story even murkier. Local stories added to the mystery, with animals acting strangely around the hole and objects changing in ways that didn't make sense, suggesting there were forces or energies at work that we don't understand. Despite how wild the story sounds and how some people don't believe it, the legend of Mel's Hole remains strong. It's a perfect example of how much we like stories about things we can't explain, challenging what we think we know about the world. Whether you see Mel's Hole as just a story, a piece of folklore, or something truly unexplained, it shows how much we're drawn to the mysteries of the universe. Fueled by curiosity, and maybe a bit of a disregard for the everyday, Mel and his new friends in Nevada tried something you'd expect to read about in old tales of magic or science fiction. They lowered a bucket of ice into the hole, thinking it would melt because of the warmth coming from the hole. Surprisingly, the ice didn't melt. Instead, it came back warm, but still frozen. Things got even stranger when they set the ice on fire and instead of melting, it burned with a flame that gave off a strange, almost magical light. Get ready for a twist that turns everything you know on its head. The dark experiment that defied reality. The unfolding tale of Mel's hole turned into an adventure that felt both incredible and incredibly strange. The story of a bucket of ice that somehow kept burning for weeks without melting was just the beginning. What followed could either be seen as a major discovery in the realm of the mysterious or a step into the realm of fantasy that tests how easily people can be convinced of the unbelievable. Mel and his friends on the Nevada reservation, driven by a mix of curiosity and a desire for wonder, decided to undertake an experiment that was bold to the point of being risky. In a scenario that seemed to belong more to the world of fairy tales and horror stories, a brave soul from among the Native Americans volunteered to explore the depths of a mysterious and seemingly bottomless hole. This hole appeared as a portal akin to the mythological entrance to the underworld, promising untold secrets or perhaps leading to oblivion for anyone daring enough to venture in. Before this brave venture began, a sheep was chosen to go down first 
not by its own will, leading to an eerie moment. As the sheep was brought to the edge, it became noticeably terrified, far beyond the normal nervousness animals display in unfamiliar situations. Its reaction was profound, as if it could sense or see something deeply frightening within the hole, something that caused it to panic and desperately try to flee. The animal's intense fear suggested it wasn't just any hole, but perhaps something far more sinister and unknown. The observing group, including the Native American volunteer ready to descend, watched in quiet contemplation. The sheep's terror prompted deep thought among them about what truly lay within the hole. Could it simply be a natural pit, or was there something more, something hidden and potentially hazardous lurking beneath? A palpable tension of curiosity and apprehension filled the air. The volunteers, who deeply honored their ancestors' traditions and stories, felt a mix of pride and worry. They believed the whole could reveal ancient secrets or even cosmic truths similar to the mythic gate guarded by Cerberus. Yet, witnessing the sheep's panic, they wondered whether they were on the brink of a significant discovery or a grave mistake. The group had prepared as if for a significant ritual, combining ancient respect with the bravery required to confront the unknown. They brought along ropes, lights and cameras to record what they hoped would be a historic exploration. The volunteer had prepared not just physically but also mentally and spiritually for this moment, viewing it as a journey into not only the Earth's depths, but also into the essence of their courage and the shared memories of their community. There, on the edge of mystery, the group stood deep in thought, feeling a strong bond with the adventurers and seekers who had faced the unknown before them. They remembered the legends and tales handed down over time, filled with brave heroes and terrifying creatures highlighting the fine line between the visible world and the hidden realms just beyond our sight. The choice to move ahead or not was a heavy one. They understood that whatever secrets the whole held, knowledge, incredible power, or perhaps nothing at all, approaching it was serious business. The whole had transformed from merely a physical challenge to a profound test of their courage their dedication to honoring ancient traditions and their desire to truly comprehend the mysteries around them. Ultimately, they chose to pause and honor the sheep's evident terror as a meaningful warning. They decided to get ready even more carefully, ensuring they were fully prepared to face whatever mysteries the whole contained. Their journey wasn't simply about exploring a physical space anymore. It had evolved into an exploration of the unknown and a participation in a narrative far greater than any single individual. A narrative about discovering and respecting the world's mysteries. As the whole sat there, shrouded in more mystery than before, the group made plans for what came next. What had begun as a straightforward exploration had become a moment of introspection, reminding them that our world is filled with unexplained mysteries. Some of these mysteries might be better left alone, while others beckon us to explore further, to learn, and maybe even to understand. Despite the sheep's clear distress, the group moved forward with their plan, calming the animal and lowering it into the abyss in a crate, almost like an offering to the unseen forces below. The following silence was anything but comforting. It felt foreboding, signaling strange discoveries that would emerge when they retrieved the crate. Inside, the sheep was found lifeless, its condition suggesting it had been cooked from the inside, a chilling outcome that made them question reality itself or the veracity of the tale. What they found next seemed to leap from the pages of a science fiction book. Mixed with the sheep's remains was a strange jelly-like substance, within which was a small, developing creature connected to the sheep by what looked like 
an umbilical cord. This sight filled them with both dread and awe, presenting a spectacle so bizarre it was hard to believe. As the story of the whole grew stranger, so did Mel's personal saga. Filled with unexplainable events and supposed encounters with otherworldly beings, the tale began to sound less like something for detective shows and more like a story turned down for being overly unbelievable. At this point, a skeptic might see the hole as a metaphorical rabbit hole, one where logic and doubt are abandoned in favor of the mysterious and unexplained. Mel finds out he's very sick, pushing him to solve the hole's mysteries, a creature with clues from another dimension. In the later stages of Mel's life, which had taken quite the unexpected turn, he received shocking news. He was diagnosed with terminal cancer of the esophagus. The doctors predicted he had just six months to live. This news would usually make everything else seem less important, but for Mel, it sparked an intense need to explore and understand the mysterious discoveries that had come to define his life. It seemed almost like the universe was playing a joke on him, offering him a glimpse into its secrets when he had so little time left. The thought that the strange holes he had found might hold some answers, or at least offer a distraction from his grim prognosis, became something he couldn't ignore. As Mel faced what seemed to be the final chapter of his life, he felt an irresistible pull towards the mysterious that had fascinated him for so long, he couldn't shake the feeling that these anomalies, these tears in the fabric of our understanding of the world, might somehow hold the key to changing his fate. With nothing left to lose, Mel decided to embark on what he saw as his last great adventure, hoping to uncover the secrets of the mysterious holes that had captured his imagination. During this period of intense curiosity, Mel's journey led him back to the Native Americans in Nevada, who sensed a deep connection between him and the enigmatic hole on their land. Their invitation was a gesture of trust and shared curiosity, and Mel, driven by hope and a desperate search for answers, accepted. He arrived at the second hole, ready for an experience that promised to test the limits of what he believed possible. This next phase of Mel's adventure felt like something straight out of a science fiction story. During an exploration unlike any other, a creature emerged from the hole, displaying intelligence and an aura that seemed to defy the natural laws Mel had always believed in. This being, appearing from a realm beyond our understanding, left Mel and the Native Americans in awe, confirming ancient beliefs about the whole being a portal to other dimensions. As Mel worked with the Native Americans to communicate with this creature using symbols, sounds, and even attempts at telepathic connections, he began to see the world in a new light. His experiences with the creature led to vivid dreams filled with cosmic imagery, suggesting he was tapping into knowledge far beyond human comprehension. The bond between Mel the creature and the Native American community grew stronger, transforming the whole from a source of fear into a center of learning and connection between worlds. As news of Mel's encounters spread, people from all walks of life became drawn to the mysteries of the whole, prompting the Native Americans to balance the influx of interest with the need to protect their sacred site. Mel saw the importance of what they had discovered and took on the role of mediator, advocating for a respectful pursuit of knowledge. The creature became a symbol of the vast unknown, sparking global discussions about the nature of existence and the possibility of life beyond our planet. Eventually, the creature returned to the depths, leaving behind unanswered questions and a group of individuals forever changed by their experiences. Mel continued to visit the hole, reflecting on his journey and sharing his story, encouraging others to remain open to the mysteries of the unknown. 
Amidst these profound experiences, Mel faced an unexpected twist. His terminal cancer began to recede, suggesting that his encounter with the creature had somehow rejuvenated him. This miraculous recovery baffled doctors and reinforced Mel's belief in the significance of his experiences. Adding to the mystery, the Native Americans shared a discovery of their own, a coin from a mint that supposedly never existed, raising further questions about the nature of the holes and their connection to other realities. As Mel and the community delved deeper into these mysteries, their discussions often extended into the night, exploring concepts of parallel universes and time travel, with the coin serving as a tangible link to these extraordinary possibilities. Meet the burning ice, a new puzzle that blurs what's real and what's not, pulling Mel deeper into the unknown. The mystery of never melting ice. In the complex and intriguing story of Mel's mysterious holes, things take a strange twist with the appearance of something called burning ice. This odd phenomenon, which is hard to understand and even harder to explain, adds a new layer of mystery to the tale, mixing reality with elements that seem straight out of a fantasy. The story starts with a man from the Basque country, part of a unique cultural group, who becomes fascinated by rumors of this unusual ice near the second mysterious hole and decides to take some of it home, not realizing the chaos he's about to unleash. Driven by a mix of natural curiosity and a love for trying new things, the man puts the burning ice into his wood stove, thinking it will be a new way to heat his home. At first, everything seems fine, with the ice burning steadily, but soon, the air in his cabin starts to change in a way that makes him uncomfortable. The air becomes extremely dry, his thirst becomes unquenchable, and his home begins to fall apart, drying out and breaking down. It seems like the burning ice isn't just using up the wood, but is also taking all the moisture out of the air and everything around it, making the whole place dry and fragile. Things get even weirder for the Basque man when he finds out that the stove heated by this mysterious ice, has merged with the floor. The intense heat managed to fuse metal and wood into something completely new and odd. This strange occurrence didn't go unnoticed for long. It quickly caught the attention of local officials and scientists who were all stunned by what they saw. They found a scene that looked like it came from a sci-fi book, a stove that had become part of the ground, with the walls around it shining as if they were made of glass. This suggested that the reactions and temperatures involved were beyond anyone's current understanding of science. The burning ice, both intriguing and frustrating, couldn't be removed or put out. It stayed put, much like the deep mysteries of Mel's holes, which always seem just out of reach. The scientists and authorities faced a challenge they had never seen before, dealing with a substance that appeared to challenge the basic rules of the natural world. They started making comparisons to Ice Nine, a fictional and dangerous substance from Kurt Vonnegut's novel Cat's Cradle, capable of freezing the entire planet. This comparison made everyone think hard about the potential dangers of the burning ice serving as a stark reminder of how thin the line is between making new discoveries and facing disaster. When the unusual tale of the stove that melted into the floor alongside the phenomenon of the burning ice became known, it sparked the interest of many far and wide. The small community transformed into a bustling center of activity, attracting a mix of curious onlookers, keen journalists, and additional scientists eager to see this oddity for themselves. This surge of visitors injected both excitement and a bit of worry into the town's residents, who were not accustomed to being in the spotlight. Upon learning about this growing fascination, Mel realized the importance of figuring out how the mysterious holes were linked to the burning ice. He got in touch with the investigating scientists, 
sharing his own experiences and insights. Together, they dived into a joint venture aimed at solving the riddles that lay before them. They set up experiments, collected various data, and exchanged ideas, with each new piece of information bringing them closer to understanding the bigger picture. This teamwork led to breakthroughs that pushed the limits of what was scientifically accepted. They discovered that the burning ice released patterns of energy similar to those observed near Mel's holes. This finding hinted at the possibility that these occurrences might not just be related, but actually manifestations of the same unknown forces. Moreover, the group delved into the history and culture surrounding the land, talking to local historians and Native American elders. These discussions unearthed ancient legends and tales about similar events, suggesting that what they were witnessing was a repeating cycle of phenomena throughout history. As the seasons changed from winter to spring, the burning ice didn't show any signs of stopping. Instead, it seemed to evolve, changing its brightness and color in captivating ways. The stove, now seamlessly part of the earth, stood as a tangible mystery, anchoring the many questions that everyone had. The work done by Mel and his collaborative team caught the attention of the world bringing together specialists from different disciplines. This diverse group pooled their expertise in physics, geology, anthropology, among others, to tackle the issue from various perspectives. Through their united efforts, they started forming a theory that the burning ice and the mysterious holes might be portals to understanding new aspects of our reality. They suggested that these phenomena could be natural aspects of a world far more complex and mystical than we had ever imagined. The once divided community now rallied together in support of the research, viewing themselves as protectors of a mystery that had chosen their town as its focal point. Educational visits were arranged for students. Local businesses saw a boost and a sense of pride swelled within the town for playing a key role in this intriguing narrative. The inquiry into the burning ice and Mel's holes pressed on, with each day unveiling new hurdles and revelations. Mel, alongside the scientists and the town, led the charge into the unknown, their lives entwined with a mystery that spanned beyond the confines of time and space. They came to realize they were not merely uncovering secrets of their locale, but probing the essence of existence itself. Adding yet another layer to this already dense mystery, the narrative took a turn with the Native Americans, revealing communications from a creature through an old boombox. This twist, akin to elements found in science fiction, suggested an attempt by a non-human intelligence to deliver warnings and insights to humanity. The messages, as understood by the Native Americans, depicted concern from ancient entities over human activities, alluding to other dimensions and the risks of human intrusion into unknown territories. Faced with a message that was as ominous as it was intriguing, Mel and his team were alerted to the possibility that the holes might serve as doorways to other worlds, warning that human carelessness could spell disaster. The advisories regarding the burning ice and other strange occurrences underscored the idea that these mysteries were not merely academic curiosities, but potential threats to our existence. The story of Mel's Hole gets even stranger with burning ice that doesn't melt, sparking a huge mystery. This strange ice and deep holes have us asking a lot of questions and searching for answers. What's going on with Mel's Hole and the ice? Share your ideas in the comments. For more cool mysteries, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more.